Hey guys, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX Part 52. We left off with Iko being kidnapped by Kuja, and we chased him across the across the world map to... <clears throat> to... <laughs> Esto Gaza, there we go. <laughs> There's a good shop in this place. There is actually an item in this area, but... Okay, yeah, you can get battles around here, as you can see. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look what it is. Right, I think we could have seen these a bit earlier in the game, but... But we didn't, so... We'll have to fight it for our first time now. Stop. Garuda. I'm just going to attack with every character for now. There we go. Command failed. Dagger can't concentrate. This is the silenced status that I was talking about. Where she sometimes doesn't do anything like she's supposed to. Five Arga. Ooh. The enemies are starting with the Argas. Oh well, even with the back attack it was easy enough. Yeah, he's starting to level up. It's not too long ago that I actually got all my fighters up to um, all my mages up to level 30. So I think my levels are going okay. Should be good enough for this next dungeon. Bit of story. This place somehow reminds me of like the monks up in the mountains. Somehow. Just like the other pointy hats, no manners at all. What did you just say? Have you seen some guys that look like my friend here? How dare you address me so? I'm the priest of Esto Gaza. Mind your tongue, child. You in league with that brazen c crew? Brazen crew? <laughs> Tell me where they went. Was there a little girl with them? My friend's life is in danger. Tell me what you know now. All life is equal. The living will return to the stars. Through the path of souls of the Shimmering Island. Did the Black Mage have the girl with them? I just watched them. Besides, they didn't do anything wrong. Here's what happened. How he saw it. They headed straight for Mount Gellug without even looking at me. Gellug Stone, Mount Gellug. There we go. An enormous volcano that went extinct in the days of old. Legend has it that a race of great moles once lived within the caverns. But that was very long ago. Yeah, yeah. And there's Eco. Sword and Thorn. Kuja. Of course. <laughs> so what Kuja wants is Eco's Eidolons. All three of them. It's really worth going through all this. Anyway. What about the girl? Oh yes, one of the Black Mages was carrying a little girl too. That's gotta be Eco. Well now we know. We gotta get to Mount Gallag. Yep. Let's check by here a sec. I'm not sure if there's anything here. Nope, okay. And across here. It's a good shop here. I normally find something that's worth buying. Or well, a few things, really. Problem I have is that... Hmm, I'm not one of those. They're just Zolan shape. I'll see how much money I got left. Flame Saber. That's a new sword for Steiner. Heavy Lance is new for Freya, but we're not going to be using her here. 
or him, magic bag, a new rod for dagger. Octagon rod, that is really good, absorbs water and wind attacks. And I'll show you what moves it teaches him now, in a moment. And Kai amulets, while they're good, they take your magic evasion down to zero, so not sure if it's really worth it. Initial shields, black hoods, red hats, get two of those. Shield armor, okay. We still might need vaccines, we'll need those. I know we will, for this part. We still might need Phoenix Downs, like I was saying, because of Dagger's restrictions right now. Another Black Hood, maybe. Okay, I think we'll get us all in shape. And a Gladius. That's everything bought. I normally have to sell loads at this point, so I'm quite happy about that. There wasn't really much point in buying those two, I suppose, but... I just like to have one of everything, if possible. Accuracy plus. Wow, even after this shop, there's not really much being learnt. Her new rod, Asura's rod. Magic goes down, attack goes up. Well, the attack goes up, it actually does less because it's in the back row. So I'm going to leave it with the magic racket right now. Defense magic, defense go up with the red hat. Octone rod, five Aga Blizz, Aga Thundaga. The three third level spells, all in one rod. So there we go. Just want to check something. Stuff with the water god around the side. Okay. Magic defense is probably better for the characters in back row than normal defense, I mean. Same. <laughs> He's still learning something with that, that, and that. Flame Saber. This is going to be a fire relocation where attacks with a fire sword equipped might, might heal the enemy, so. We're not going to equip that until we're done with this place. We'll go around here. A wing edge. That's to throw with Amarant again, but... You know, we don't need it. <clears throat> Who's that priest? Here you are. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Terrible monsters appeared here once the Black Mages came. Thanks to them, very few people come to visit nowadays. Yeah, go on and we'll rest. Only 100 gil. I never thought there was a inn here for a while, but then I realised that the priest will let you sleep here, so... Very handy, that. A moogle? I got a letter this morning. Okay. From Artemisian to Magrika. Magrika, I'm in trouble. I use too much. Do you have more? You don't, do you? Oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I have a favour to ask. To Mulan. Don't ask me where that is or who that is. Because <laughs> I don't have a clue. It's probably... I think there's two Mughals in Mount Gullag too. So, it's probably one of those. Again, we're low on money. <laughs> Not good. There's nothing up that top way from what I remember. So we'll just head straight for the mountain. And didn't have any battles. That's nice. Oh, Gallag. This dungeon is pretty long, I suppose. It's not too bad. Just try and make sure that you've learnt water or are learning water by this point. Because it is effective.
Ooh. Mount Gellag. That's the name of a dungeon in Final Fantasy 1, if I remember right. Where you release the fire crystal. Okay, wrong way. We'll go the other way first. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, time to show you an enemy. <clears throat> oh, these can be tough. I can't remember what's tough about them, but it can be. Wrath? Alright. Oh, the Daga. Okay. You can expect that for enemies down here. Ice spells. Devil's Candle. I think this is the move that can deal a lot of damage. It didn't do much though. I think we're okay. One down. See, Dagger does a lot of damage with that racket, so switching to Yasura's Rod would probably be a bad idea unless you haven't learnt all the moves yet. Bye, Dagger. That's fine. And he's down. Okay, those enemies are fine. Once again, there is a boss in this place. So... And he is a tough boss. It's probably the first hard boss of the entire game, I think. While there have been other pretty tough bosses, this one's the hardest so far, in my opinion. Let's check this bottom floor first. Don't forget to pull the lever. Pull the lever down when you first use the well. Okay, so there's a hint of what we gotta do. It's easy enough to figure out even if you didn't read all these. That was a back tack, so I just ran. No need to show it, so I ran. Um, okay, Cuba. I think we better start using that now. More often. The health is started to get quite high. Let's see what's down this ladder. It's not going to lead anywhere, so it should just be an item. Two wraths that time. Those skeleton things. And let's have a look. I think antibody might be good for this place. I don't think any of the enemies petrify. Red hat. Okay. We just bought some of those anyway. I'll cut here. See you back up. See you back by the wild that I was going down the rope to. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Said pull the lever first. All we gotta do is pull it down a few times. And there we go. We can go down now if we wanted. But there's a few items I want to get up and around here. Okay, like I was saying, there are a few items that I want to collect. The only real reason for coming this way is to get the items and to read a few more of those wall markings left behind by the moles. And we're back again. This time it was just more wraths, actually. I'd like to show you some different enemies, maybe, but they're not appearing. <laughs> Oh, bollocks, right, okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Demon's Mail. Let's see if it's an upgrade. 
Yep, absorbs shadow damage and teaches high tide. Takes down his magic defense, but defense goes up a little bit, so I think that's a good idea for now. The well didn't work until I pulled the lever three times. Yeah, we've done that. Now in here. Moogle. Right, milk shop. It looks like it's just healing items. Which is alright. We don't really need more equipment in terms of in terms of beating enemies. Let's go up here. We'll be coming back down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Right. Attempt to show off. These are quite big enemies in this place. They're sort of mini bosses of their own. You might want to use a tent every time you beat one anyway. Depending on how much HP and MP you've got left, you know. Bird killer is good for these, because they're flying. Red dragons. There we go. They have got some attacks that deal a hell of a lot of damage, but for now I stick to water. Maybe Blizzard is good too, but yeah, I think water uses less MP and is still bloody effective as you just saw. If we had that fire sword on Steiner right now, then he would be healing this enemy. I'm pretty sure. That is wind damage. And he's down. There we go. It's easier than I remember, really. Power break. So now we can actually switch to Steiner if we want. She's learned on the move. Like I said, we're not going to. Not for now. Stein to learn something else as well. Let's have a look. Actually, I will... Mm, I don't know. This is a hard decision. No, we'll leave it. Now let's get the treasure chest that we were going for in the first place. An elixir. It was worth it. Those enemies give a lot of EXP and stuff as well. And nothing up there. Okay, I'll see you back at the well. Okay, we're back at the well. This time we're going to go right this way. And see what's coming up. Another Moogle. That's the second one I was talking about. Two Moogles down in Mount Gullag. I better do something sec. <laughs> Heal up a little bit. Turns out those wraths, they can. Yep, yeah. it turns out those wraths can use Doom on a character, which. which gives you about 10 seconds to kill the enemies before that character dies. You can still use Life or Phoenix Down or anything on him. We still gotta try and rush a bit, you know. Okay, I'll see you back at the well. Actually, back at the... It's probably actually better if I don't see you back at the Moogle, actually. Because there's something coming up. But, of course, you won't see anywhere else, so... Oh. Heard you should pull the lever down a second time. Three times, we know. And it's another one of these dragons. There we go. There were two dragons that time, but... Just so long as you focus on them one at a time... You'll get through it. Okay. 
just water on one and cool rust spread every turn might be essential until one of them are down. Back to the Mughal, Mulan. Give him a ladder. Artemisian rubbed it all over himself. The machine needs it to function properly, Kubo. I know he m how he must have felt. I used it on myself once too. It's a wonderful thing, but... Yeah. Moktaka. Now that's the Mughal on the other side of Mount Gulag. The other one we saw. I think I split the video here. It's gone on for quite a while. This has been Greeny XA. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all again in a bit.